hey hey what's up hey what's going on hey how are you how you doing hey hi <laughs> it is finally time for first listen of city lights i'm excited i'm ready i'm whatever that means i'll be honest with you guys i plan to film this at like midday and it's now 10 59 p.m it's not exactly a late night with dana it's more of a it's much later than i wanted it to be video <laughs> anyway so we're here we're finally here i'm 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 excited so how we're gonna do it is um i'm just gonna i i I thought about different ways of doing this and I realized that the easiest probably way is to just watch the lyric videos of each song. With Chen's one, what I did was I I listened to the Spotify one, I streamed it on Spotify and then I looked up the lyrics afterwards. This one I'm just gonna watch the lyric videos, so it has the lyrics on screen as the video as the song plays. So we'll experience it all as once. And yeah, this one I might talk a little bit more because I might talk about, yeah, I'll talk more about what I like about a song and some of the lyrics and things like that. So I will probably pause it a bit if you don't like that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I want to, this is the first listen and a thingy and I will give my opinion. So I will be, yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I'll go in order of what it has on Spotify. And you and Village is first. We've heard that. We love that. It's great. So we're going straight on to Stay Up featuring... Beanzio. <laughs> kind of a name is Beanzio. Oh, Beanzino. Um, if also if I'm squinting, it's because I don't have my glasses on. I never wear my glasses when I film these things. Um, I don't like how I look with glasses on. So you're going to get squinty. I can't see anything. Me. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Go away. I hang on a sec, me. The kids' vocals in this are so good. Read that line. You know, this is so far from the lyrics. What I've got is it's kind of it's 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 talking about a night, a late night when they're together, right? So you stay up, stay up late. <laughs> it gives me the feel of a song. It uh, should I talk now? Or should I wait till the end? So I'll just say now, just quickly. Um, it kind of like you know, you know those nights where you stay up with someone, a friend, or a special friend, <laughs> and you want something to happen. You know what I'm talking about? Where you think some th think something might happen. This song kind of the lyrics to that kind of fit in that situation. The name of the song and the and the feel of the song too. And I, I let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that sweet or sweat? Baby, we 
Oh, he's a rapper. Okay. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. So to me, the song was, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was not a bad song. Produced quite well. Um, and what, what I liked most about it was actually the vocals. Because the vocals and the, and the melody of the vocals is probably my favorite thing. I won't lie to you. I feel like the rapper, um, he, not like not a bad rapper, good rapper. But I mean, like, I don't know where he's from or who he is, but I'm sorry. I should have probably looked that up, but I didn't. Um, it kind of felt like it, this, the, the, his rap kind of felt a little bit detached from the song. Like it, and it was such a small part of the song. I felt like, it just kind of felt like it didn't need to be there. Like if he just, if it was just a little bit of, he could have just taken the rap out. And I feel like if he just put a little, changed the music up a little bit for a few bars or just added a run in or added something else in, it would have been just as good. I kind of, I don't know. I just feel like the rap didn't really need to be there, but that's okay. Again, didn't love it, didn't hate it. it. It was pretty good. Moving on. Moving on to Betcha. And apparently you guys have been, like, you guys said some stuff about this one. And, oh, there's a live performance of Betcha? Ooh, okay, neat. If a lot of you said that this song, Betcha, is one of your favorites as well. And the lyrics, I think you guys said something about the lyrics of this one. So I have a feeling, well, the last one, oh, I forgot to mention the last one. The last one was a little, was a little dirty. It was a little, it was, it, actually it was quite bit dirty. The line, Lay down, lay back, lay down, lay back. Something like that. Oh, that got me. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna, a, a bold statement, but I have a feeling this album is for the hard stance. Let's keep going. Yeah. I like that it's different already. Yeah. Come on. Ah! Come on. You know what I said about the hard stance? <laughs> okay, for all, for all, for all you Beck stands out there, apparently Beck likes a confident girl. <laughs> Chua, I like it. Wait. 
안에서 잘몰라 yeah. 알수 없는 네 마음을 말해봐 yeah. 친절하게 말해줘 제법 제법 Hello. 잘할 수 있다니까 진심만 너에게 보내 It's kind of attack. Relatable. Oh, cute. Okay, this song is more cute. I didn't know. Oh, okay. Oh, this song is actually really fucking cute. I can see why you guys like the lyrics of that one. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one a bit more. I liked. I liked the. I didn't really have any negatives about that. I liked it. I liked the melody. I liked the the beat. I liked the. I just liked it. It was good. I liked it. I. <laughs> Do you want me to say it again for you? The lyrics were really cute. The lyrics were making me a little bit, a little bit, a little bit shy. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that was just. That was a good song. I. That that's all. I feel like that's all I need to say about it. It was good. Great. Cool. What's next? Ice Queen. I feel like Beck has been sneaking around with someone. <gasps> he performed these all live and I did not know. Oh my god. From the title of it, I'm just assuming here. I have no idea. And <laughs> I have a feeling this song might be about a woman that has a bit of an attitude. You know? Like Ice. Like she's cold but he likes it. He said that. I think he kind of made that point in the last two songs in his lyrics. And yeah. Uh, let's just go. Uh huh. I really need to uh, get rid of these. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I did not even read that. I was too busy laughing at. Can you hold my hand like you can't see in front, like you can't see in front of you? I'm okay. I, I don't know what that means. I... <laughs> Am I stupid? <laughs> Can I just say, fun fact about all me here, in case any of you wanted to know, I have really cold hands. Like, 
to the point where if someone touches my hand at any point, at any time of the day, they're like, oh, your hands are cold. And I'm like, I've got ice in my veins. That's why. I don't know. Yep. So I'm, I'm just saying, because he, he says here, enjoy the warmth of my heart with your frozen hands. And thank you, Beck. I feel like that line was written for me and only me. And I'm kidding. It was a lot of words in there. Oh, I just Whoa, I didn't have time. Still, it sounds like he says ice cream. I like that line, my world stopped in your eyes. I feel like that's referring to his life as like an idol or like a famous person in a way. His life, his famous life to that person doesn't really mean anything to them. So then like, you know what I mean? He see, it's cute, I like it. I feel like Beck has someone special in his life that he's not telling about us. T about us to us. And <laughs> so far, I feel like apart from UN Village, UN Village has been the most different. Stay Up Betcha and Ice Queen are all kind of a very similar vibe song that unless you really listen to them, I don't think you could really tell them apart. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because that's obviously the it's obviously the style that Beg Beg <laughs> Beck likes to use. But like for me, especially in like a in like a mini album, I would I would kind of prefer a little bit more variety in the first like out of three out of four out of the first four songs I feel like kind of all three sound not exactly the same but have a very similar vibe and I could easily get them confused it, with the lyrics I really this one I liked the lyrics in because it used a lot of imagery between obviously fire and ice hot and cold uh cool and warm that sort of thing and it ref obviously it reflected on the relationship that he was talking about in obviously in the translation of his lyrics and I like I like lyrics that have sort of imagery to them he mixes in the the word those words hot and cold with like his feelings following on with the feelings of the words yep yeah, cool <laughs> um yeah I thought it was neat I thought it was written really well the lyrics um all right let's move on let's move on to diamond 
I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that Diamond, you know, the EXO song, Diamond, shining, shining, just like a diamond. Yeah, that song. I have a feeling it's not going to be anything like that, but like, <laughs> if it does, I mean. What? Coming. Okay, that's about sex. <laughs> Love it. Okay, already this one sounds different. This one has a, has a kind of a similar vibe, but he's using... Ah, that's what I... Hang on. Hold, just hold, hold, whatever, hold that thought. What I do like about this album so far is the way it's written is that mostly the, 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 the music behind his vocals, I'm trying, I can't think of any words right now. That's why I'm sounding so funny. So yeah, the music itself and the melody of the music is, stays kind of similar and changes a little bit during verses and, you know, bridges and chorus and things like that. But the main, the main thing that changes in the song is his, his voice, the melody of his voice. And I like that a lot. A bit of wordplay, a bit of, a bit of, a bit of, yeah, anyway. And I can already, I can already, can tell, like, it's, we're only, <sighs> words failing me. We're only 30 seconds into this and I've heard him change it up twice already and I like that. If, you understand? I gotta admit, I do like Baekhyun saying, come here baby, come here baby to me. special gesture what is a special gesture and in, in what context <laughs> i've never seen anything like this before me either i don't know what special gesture you're talking about is that like me song shit song shit baby <laughs> your sexy hand gesture Or like this bit is my favorite. I think it's the bridge. No, not the bridge. I fucking know. Ooh, I like it. I like that metaphor. It's a good metaphor.
Cool. Neat song. Real neat. That song makes me want to dance a little. Like, I can imagine that play at a club and I'm just like... Yes, because that's how you dance. That's that's how I dance. I think I said... What I said during that didn't really change much. So I feel like I said what I needed to say for that one. So we'll just move straight on to Psycho, a bonus track. He already has a song called Psycho, doesn't he? It's one of his solos. CVX solos? Oh, this is real different. You know, why are you endlessly trying to destroy me? Um, I asked that I feel like instead of asking me that, it's not a question I should be asking you. The song has a real different feel. He's oh my god, that was deep. Jeez. Shit. Me either. Oh, I'm waiting for this drop. I can hear. Um, it's like he's lost in his memory again. There's a really cool echo in this, I like it. I need to take a second. I wasn't expecting this one to be deep. Just because all the others were written about similar situations, similar, similar things, not like the same thing, but like, you know, a relationship with someone else. Ooh, ooh connections in my head. And then this one seems to be written about, so he's calling himself a psycho. So which me like an like him battling with his inner demons? Yeah, see like it says I don't know I don't know either I don't know if I'm good or bad. Psycho in that mirror. Oh, it's like a ooh. 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 Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. that last line that's right the psycho and I give in 
Okay. Ooh, I'm having feels at this one. That song to me feels like a him talking about what's in like what goes on in his head. Oh, was he that 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 kind of hit me a bit and hmm, I really liked the lyrics in that because whenever people write about like in a demon, so so mental health problems and things like that, so I like the the use of the words of referring it to as a monster or like a, as he, as he says psycho and or like a demon or things like that. I I I kind of. Let me get my words together. I like that use of it because I don't know. I just I really like that writing style. He's they were really good lyrics too. And one thing I really liked about that song is too is had a really had a big build up to the chorus and then as the chorus came, instead of like a big bass drop. It had like a, I can't remember, it had a lot of, it had a lot of things playing in the, it went, I could hear it in the headphones, I could, it was kind of behind the headphones and it was like a staticky kind of noise. So it kind of felt like there was a lot going on. I don't know if you've ever been in like a very, oh, it's hard to explain, let me try, if I, let me see if I can explain this well enough without it not making sense. It felt like that kind of real, not all, like I'm not saying a lot, I'm saying that it kind of gave me that kind of illusion that when you feel really irritated and things are a bit too much and you feel like like things need to calm down and everything's a bit too much. Like, you know when the TV's too loud and you're trying to concentrate and it gives you that kind of noise and you're like, mm. I'm not saying that it was bad and it was irritating. I'm saying like that kind of sound in the back resembled kind of how that felt. Production and lyric wise, Psycho was probably my favorite. But UN Village is my favorite song on the, what's it called? Mini album. Yeah, mini album. Well, mini album. Overall, a good album. I think the only little setback I have of them is I feel like there wasn't a little bit, there wasn't enough. It's only a small album and I, and I understand that. And also it's his first thing. So I don't mean, these are not real big negatives because overall I liked it. I thought it was quite good. But I felt, I felt the only negatives I have is that some of the things in the choruses or a bit of the, I felt like it just kind of fell flat, like just that little bit. But I felt like his vocals and the, and his wordplay and his lyrics and that made up for that. Um, yeah, I'm very proud of him. <laughs> he did such a good job. Thank anyway, yeah, I feel like I've said enough. I can't, yep. Anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Shimmy, shimmy, coco pop. I think I like it. Can't down, down, down. But good on my God.